We got something to celebrate today, so let's get to it. We're going to roll out the barrel with Barrel Craft Spirits 15-Year Cask Strength Bourbon. Today on The Butcher's Block. Welcome, everybody, to a very special episode of The Butcher's Block. We are celebrating today. That is the celebration of 150 subscribers to this channel. And I am very thankful and grateful for you all who have subscribed and clicked that like button and punched that subscribe button in the face and hit it and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I am very glad to have you. I am hoping that you'll are entertained by these videos and more to come. I have a lot more plans with blind taste, head to heads, live streams, we'll get to it. But I really appreciate your uh, viewership and joining the channel. And I really appreciate all the comments everyone has left so far. So thank you to making it 150 subscribers. I am very thankful and appreciative. And with that, I wanted to commemorate the 150 subscribers with the 1-5 15-year of a Barrel Craft Spirits 15-year cask strength bourbon. I don't mind telling you astute viewers, I looked long and hard all over for a 150 year bourbon to uh, open to celebrate 150 subscribers and I just uh, really couldn't find much of anything. Um, so 15 years I'll have to do. Um, honestly, it makes it problematic if I were to do that and set that precedent to when I get to 500 or even 1000 subscribers. Uh, yeah, that might be tough to find that kind of bourbon. Anyway, 15 years I'll have to do. I think this is a good round number. And uh, 150 subscribers, there's some work with me, but there's some synergy there. And also, I want to talk about Barrel Craft Spirits because I'm conflicted, okay? One, I love geekery of bourbon. I love the fact uh, that this is really just kind of trying to put stuff together at a cask strength. And I wanted to learn more about them because if you go into a liquor store that's well stocked with these, you've got batch 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 15 year. Uh, there's some other rise. There's some other um, distillates that they've come up with and they're all just different. So which do you like? Which do you prefer? Which do you buy? Which do you come up with? if you drink a bottle and then you can't find it anymore. So there's some gamesmanship to it and some, and some bourbon hunter game uh, theory along with uh, kind of finding the, the batch that you like and the, and the, the year, but I've never, if I, that I can recall tr have tried one of these. And so why not start off with a bang and go straight to a 15 year cask strength bourbon. Let me talk about a little bit about Barrel Craft Spirits. So they were started in 2013 in Louisville, Kentucky by a, guy, a founder named Joe Beatrice. And uh, Joe has a tech background and he uh, did home brewing and he really likes getting into geek sides of things. And he saw in Europe what uh, Scotland had been doing with these uh, cask blends and uh, just really making these magic creations from leftover casks, picked out casks, cask strengths, and making these unique creations that they would put on the market. And that's relatively not done uh, a lot in the US until Barrel Craft Spirits came along, but it is done kind of, he kind of took his cues from Scotland doing it with Scotch whiskey and uh, blended whiskeys and kind of putting stuff together to make a unique blend. I got this from their website, but they uh, source and blend exceptional casks from established producers to bottle whiskeys at cask strength and sold as transparently as possible. And I'm looking at the um, back of the bottle on this and it says it's bottled, distilled in Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana. So Indiana, I, uh, that's MGP as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, that opens the door to a lot of other little distilleries, but Barton, Four Roses, we all know they've kind of done contrib contributions to things like this, or they've sourced um, in the past, or they've done projects like this, maybe even Heaven Hill. So who knows? Um, I'd love to know the details behind what's in this, but, you know, they selected a uh, 15-year-old bourbon uh, to blend and bottle, and uh, there is no uh, note or word or that I could find on the website as to what's in here. But 
we kind of get an idea that it's a blend of 15 year bourbons to come up with this and it's cask strength. So that means it's packs and pa it's packing a wallop. I love this kind of whiskey geekery because you get some really cool stuff, especially from a craft uh, spirit um, blender. Dist they're not, are they distillery? I don't know. They buy stuff, but they don't distill it themselves. So they're an assembler blender. So, Barrel 15 Year was named Best American Whiskey in 2019 by Whiskey Authority Fred Minnick. I think if you're on the internet or Instagram or you read Whiskey Advocate or you're on Reddit for our bourbon or our whiskey, you know who Fred Minnick is. Um, that's pretty high praise. Barrel in general, if you look on their website, they have a ton of awards. Uh, they've gotten double gold for some batches. They've gotten uh, really good high praise for a lot of their batches. Now you just have to go hunt those batches down and uh, I really haven't looked into the availability. Honestly, I see a lot of numbers and my brain kind of glazes over. So, but this had a nice silver label and uh, it's gotten good reviews. So I figured this would be a good one. 104.9 proof, 52.45% alcohol by volume. It's, uh, it's tootin', but it's nothing crazy uh, at the cask strength. It has a whiskey advocate rating of 90. MSRP is steep, $250 for this. I paid $219 uh, quite a while ago, and um, I don't know how available this is, but I was able to find it online and order it from uh, K&L Wines, which is a great uh, little vendor here, and uh, they had it for $219, so I was able to get it, and I'm very happy about that. I really don't know much else about like what's in it, and uh, if you have speculative uh, information, I'd love to hear it on uh, who made up this bottle or this, this batch. I haven't really gone hunting for a lot of their other batches, so I'd really like to kind of see if I have any. I do have a bottle of the New Year 2021, and I did not open it or drink it start of this year. So maybe I'll wait till a little later in this year, and I'll kind of crack that and send off 2021 with a bottle of that. But, um, you know, this is a varied and storied uh, uh, craft distillery as they as they're called um and they're, but they're producing stuff left right and center and if you've got a favorite i'd love to hear it if you've had this i'd love to hear your experience i just it's like where do you start um and about the price msrp 250 for this yeah you might be able to find it cheaper but most of their bottles kind of pricey does that mean they're not good or worth it i'd like to have more samplings and find out but it's an investment if you really want to start collecting these and like go down the rabbit hole on some of these Oh, that's a different distillery. Um, you'll have to really kind of like look for it and, you know, decide if you want to purchase it. Uh, let's get to tasting this. we're back are you ready okay three and a half stars the nose full star i think you'll get the camera reaction when it just kind of punched me in the face a little bit but i wrote in all caps here graham cracker and i got this heavy like graham honey graham cracker like that the graham cracker like from a s'more and i got this uh, oak and baking spice brightness like very compelling the Primal, I gave a full star on delivery right after that nose because I got dark chocolate, I got a honey, 
I wrote down uh, Graham because it really delivered on that smell. I got an all-spice brightness, like a like a, a cinnamon uh, brown sugar spice, but nothing overly peppery and nothing bright fruit uh, fruit wise. In fact, I wrote down I almost wrote down orange and then I crossed it out and I wrote down tangerine because I wanted to get something like that. That tangerine sweetness, it's a little less bright and, and in your face and, and, and kind of tart than an orange. So there's some of that, like a little bit on that, like, like that fruitiness to it. And it was just really just rich, hit to the palate. The not so good news, the tail, the finish, I give a half star to because it's there and you get this great flavor. And it's like... You know in the movies where they show the end scene and then they do a snapshot effect and it goes to black and white and it fades away? That's what this did. It kind of like took what I was experiencing and then snapshot it and then turned the volume down and kind of brought it to the background. And it's like, now it's gone. And it's not great after that. It's not. And, and so I was kind of like, okay, I'm okay with that. It's, you know, if you don't like the finish, drink more. That's what I always say. The trimmings, I gave a full star to. Call me crazy. Call me kooky. I like this story. I like bourbon geekery. I like what the founder's doing. Their website, uh, there's a couple other people, the master distiller. They got a sales guy and they've got a mixologist slash... Uh, uh, kind of single barrel person. Um, I'm sorry I don't have your names, but it's on the website. I'll put a link down to it on the About Us on Barrel Craft Spirits. And they look like they're really having fun and enjoying what they do. And that's awesome. And honestly, if you got to pick stuff out like this and put it out for you, like people to sample and try, wouldn't that be like the best job ever, right? So I know why the guy founded it and I know what he's doing with it. And I, I totally get it and I support it. I gave him a full star. The wild card star, I didn't give anything because try keeping up with all the releases they have. It's limited. This is limited. I was able to find a bottle, but it, you know, 200 plus bucks. And yeah, that's, that's expensive. Now we come to the reason I didn't give them that wild card start, the price. Like, do you have, do you have the money to go out and collect four or five bottles from these folks and try all of them? I don't. So three and a half stars, I think is pretty darn good for this. And I'm glad I was able to celebrate it. And I, uh, you know, I hope y'all uh, have an opportunity to taste some stuff like this. With that, tip those bartenders, take care of them, they're taking care of you, especially if you're going to your local whiskey bar and they know you by name. Don't make them regret saying your name. Come on, give them a shout out. I really appreciate the 150 subscribers. I'm very thankful for all of y'all. Take care, thanks again, 150, we did it. I'm gonna start planning out what I can do for the next big milestones if I get there and uh, what crazy bottles I can find or wrangle or even bust out of the Dusty collection to figure out what we got. So keep them coming. Thanks again. Take care. Talk to you soon. I should have commented on the cork. This is a that's a good cork. You know when it, you know it's a good cork when it's loud like that. I'm just gonna have a little more. A little more. The flavor of this is damn good. Wow. I gotta admit, I was an idiot and I was saying Burrell for a long time because I thought it was somebody's name. And maybe it is. Is Barrel Barrel is one L, right? Yeah, Barrel's one L. So why are they two L's? That's nobody's name on the about page that I can tell. But it's Barrel. I've heard ADHD whiskey call it Barrel. I've heard other people call it Barrel. It's Barrel Craft Spirits, right? It's not Burrell. Or we're all saying it wrong. Uh, Joe Beatrice, comment up. Let me know what you think. Uh, hit me on Instagram. I, give us the definitive uh, pronunciation. Um, are we saying it right? It's Barrel, right? It's Barrel Craft Spirits, not Burrell. Or Barrel. I don't know. How many weird ways can you pronounce those letters? Barrel, right? Okay.